third important part of the five-piece construction is the structural system. And we use um, our ball and socket chain plates. Uh, this is a system that was first developed for the Catalina 42 uh, many years ago, and it's been refined over the years, but we found to be the best, most reliable, leak-proof chain plate system uh, that we've ever built. Uh, remember the old days when people used to cut a hole in the deck and put a strap through that and bolt it to a bulkhead? Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of worked pretty well, but there were obviously some negatives. You had this rectangular cut out in the deck, which was liable to have uh, stress cracks around that aperture, hard to keep sealant on it because the bulkheads all worked a little bit, so things were moving up and down and breaking the sealant bond around there. Then water got in behind the, between the bulkhead and the uh, chain plates, and so the varnish went to heck, and then the, right it, some, it, was, it was just not a pretty scene. So the answer was to come up with a better way to resolve those loads, the rig loads, down through the deck, down to structure inside the boat without relying on any organic material like bulkheads. Uh, all of our 5 Series boats, you could actually take out all the bulkheads and go sailing, and you wouldn't sacrifice structural integrity of the boat. Basically, all the bulkheads do is keep the boat in somewhat trans in conformation, transversely, but they don't really contribute to the structure of the boat. The structure is all done with stainless steel, aluminum, and fiberglass. No organic materials, so hopefully there will never be any deterioration. Um, this is a little section through the deck, and this is a chain plate. This would be a, a three-hole chain plate. And this chain plate's welded to another plate. And that will have some bolts going through here, and then maybe have a little cosmetic cover down below. But this is a cylindrical, this part is a cylinder. And in that cylinder, um, there'd be a inside, this part, which is a sphere, in this case a hemisphere, which would have a hole in it. And in that hole, there'd be a rod, which is the tie rod that takes the structure. And that's threaded inside that, that hemisphere, and then welded at the top. And then this whole cup-like structure is welded to this plate, all the way around here. So it's captive. But that means no water ever gets in there, then the water can't ever travel down the, the rod inside the boat. Um, there's no opportunity for leaks down these rods, because they're captive. There's no opportunity for corrosion. And because this goes into a round aperture in the deck, which is typically oh, in the neighborhood of three to four inches in mm -hmm. diameter, depending on the size of the boat, it'll never develop uh, stress risers because you don't have any hard corners. It very gently transmits any tertiary or side loads to the deck. Mm -hmm. And because this can articulate typically in about seven and a half degrees in any direction, all 360 degrees, it can travel about seven and a half degrees, we get pretty good alignment of re resolution of all the forces. Now, these tie rods are anywhere from smaller boats, uh, three-eighths of an inch, larger boats, an inch and a quarter, solid 316 stainless steel. They go down through a structure which is typically seat back, which is heavily laminated fiberglass. It's the only part of the hull liner, that furniture part, that has any structure. The, this is the part I mentioned that goes on each side of the boat, typically about 10 or 11 feet. And that triangle is glass to the hull. So triangle, triangles, as you know, are very good structures because they can't deform. And inside of that is an aluminum, structural aluminum beam. And these tie rods go through the aluminum beam with large, usually a uh, plate in there to compensate for the angle. And then they're double nutted or and often have a, a safety faster at the bottom. So you have a little bit of adjustment if you ever need to do that. Typically on, on many of the models, you can remove the seat backs, reach behind and feel that structure in there. Mm -hmm. Make it so it's accessible if you ever have to adjust it. So that's the our, our uh, proprietary chain plate system with the uh, with the ball and socket chain plates. That's the ball, that's the socket, and it's worked extremely well for us uh, ever since the Catalina 42, and we've adopted our old models.